All right, we're here at the Serious Game Showcasing Challenge. Here's ITSEC 2011. Desmond, thanks for taking a second to talk to us all the way from uh, uh, University of Texas at Dallas. Hey, if you would, tell me a little bit about uh, the game that uh, you're showing off this year. Uh, well, we are, we've been developing the first-person cultural trainer uh, at the University of Texas at Dallas. Um, it's been a project that's been developed by the School of Arts and Technology. Uh, the project has been sponsored by Tradoc. Um, we've been working with them for the past three or four years. Um, it started with a prototype. And since then, we've been developing. Uh, we're currently in beta and looking to go to version one soon. Sure. Okay, so what's the primary purpose uh, of the overall game and simulation? Uh, the purpose of the game uh, is to train uh, relationship building, cultural awareness. Um, we also try to get at understanding nonverbal cues and body language. Um, the idea being that a player can sit down, reinforce cultural norms before deployment, um, and by developing an understanding of cultural norms, develop relationships with non-combatant uh, population uh, in order to engage key leaders of their population and um, also gain access to critical pieces of information that they may not otherwise receive. So um, how many students have been involved so far in this uh, project? Uh, typically we run a team, 10 to 15 uh, students. They consist of mainly graduate, PhD, some undergraduate students, uh, mainly graduate and PhD level students. All right, that sounds yeah. good. Well, Desmond, thanks for taking a couple seconds to uh, share your game with us and uh, more coverage to come straight ahead here at ITSEC 2011 from the Serious Games Showcase and Challenge.